Hello everybody, we're getting ready to do lesson 8.3 of pre-algebra math part 1. And today's lesson is using intercepts, about using intercepts to graph. And we have a 34 point class worksheet and a 10 point uh, note taking guide here. Today's bell work teachers, the graph of which equation is shown here. Here's your graph. And then find students, find a percent of the number, 90% of 80. Give your students about four minutes. Okay, welcome back for your solutions to today's bell work. I would be the solution here. Y equals two, one, two, it's a horizontal line. And then finding 90% of 80, is we just multiply 80 times 90% and we get 72 through here. Okay, to our uh, lesson today. You've graphed using tables of solutions. You will use x and y intercepts to graph linear equations. You can graph the linear quickly by recognizing that only two points are needed to draw a line. It is often convenient to choose points where the line crosses the axis. The x-coordinate of a point where a graph crosses the x-axis is the x-intercept. The y-coordinates of a point where a graph crosses the y-axis is the y-intercept. The graph shown has an x-intercept of negative 6 and a y-intercept of 4. So where is that graph? Here it is. We have a y-intercept of 4 and then an x-intercept of negative 6. Negative 6, 0. Negative 6 here. 0, negative 6, 0, and then this is when x equals 0, y equals 4. This is 0, 4 here, is what this should be here, 0, 4. Finding intercepts, to find x intercept of line, substitute 0 for y in the line's equation and solve for x. To find the y intercept of a line, substitute 0 for x in the line's equation and solve for y. Students, in your own words, define x intercept and define intercept. Okay, example one, find the intercepts of a graph. Find, to find the y-intercept, let x equal zero and solve for y. Let x equal zero. Here's our equation here, let x equal zero here. So we plug in zero, we get negative two y equals six, we solve for y, and y equals negative three. So there is our uh, when x equals 0, y equals negative 3, that would be our y intercept. Define the intercepts of the graph 3x minus 2y. Define the x intercept, y, let y equal 0. So we plug in 0 for y. There's a y. Plug in a 0 there, and then we solve for x. 3x equals 6, x equals 2. So when y equals 0, x equals 2, there is our x-intercept there. The x-intercept is 2 and the y-intercept is negative 3. Okay, find the intercepts of the equations graphed here, then graph the equation. Same thing for here uh, for you students on your independent practice. Let's do our guided practice first now. So we plug in 0 for y. And then we solve for x equals negative 4. So when uh, y equals 0, x equals negative 4, there's our x-intercept. And then to find our y-intercept, we plug in 0 for x and y equals negative 8. So when x equals 0, y equals negative 8. And when y equals 0, x equals negative 4. Then we sketch a line like that. Okay, example two, using intercepts to graph an equation. Graph the equation from the example one. So did we already do that? Well, let's see, the x-intercept is two, so plot the point two, zero. The y-intercept is negative three, so plot the point is zero, negative three. Students do that here on this grid. Draw a line through the two points, and it should look like this here. So this is what it would be. Here's your x-intercept. When y is 0, x is 2, and when x is 0, y is negative 3 for this equation here. Now we have these here. 
y equals negative two. this is your students we're going to do this now to give you a way uh, to do it so we plug in zero for x or rather zero for y here x equals negative two plot this and then when uh, x equals zero y equals negative one so when y equals zero x equals negative two that'd be about there and then when uh, x equals 0, y equals 1 would be about here. So that would be your line approximately like that. There is your line there. So that is what you should be plotting, students, where you got to practice. Students, you're on your own here. And that is 8.3, part 1, part 2, part 3, available with this email, as well as all the other materials here. Thank you.